In its day, this was New Zealand's most productive coal mine, but it was also the site of New Zealand's worst mining disaster. Let's get up close and personal with some history. The west coast of the South Island is an area renowned for its rugged beauty and its interesting geology. And here at the Brunner Mine site is a really good example of that. In 1847, Thomas Brunner discovered a coal seam here. The site came into use first as a coal mine and later a fire clay mine. The coal here was of particularly good quality. Underground, coal was hewed by miners and loaded into wagons, which were pulled to the surface by ponies. Coal was processed on site. Some of it was refined into coke. They did this by baking it in ovens. A total of 25 beehive ovens were built here. There was also a brickworks on site with five kilns to fire the bricks. Initially, the finished products were sent down the river on barges to the port of Greymouth. In 1876, the railway opened, which was a bit more convenient. A lot of the coal was shipped to Wellington and from there across the North Island. In 1896, there was an explosion in one of the coal mines here. It's thought to have been caused by methane. 65 men lost their lives. Most of them were buried in the Stillwater Cemetery just up the road. This was New Zealand's worst industrial disaster. There's a memorial on the Brunner site to those who died there and to those who died in other mining tragedies around New Zealand. The main coal mine on this site closed in 1906. Brick making continued here until 1922. The last coal mine on the site closed in 42. Coal mining continued in the area until 1968. The Brunner Industrial Site is an interesting place to spend an hour or two. There's an easy walk around the site and a suspension bridge crossing the river. The paths are well maintained with plenty of interpretation panels. There are toilets and a place to have a picnic. The site is 11 kilometres east of Greymouth, near the village of Stillwater. There are two car parks, one on either side of the river. There's an active rail line crossing the site, so keep an eye on your kids. Music